Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum average subarray 1. So in this question, we're given an integer array nums consisting of n elements and we're also given an integer k. We have to find a contiguous subarray whose length is equal to k and that has the maximum average value and we have to return that maximum average value. So we are given this input where we are given an integer array nums and we are given a integer variable k. So we have to find a subarray of length k such that it has the maximum average. So one approach is that we can find all the subarrays of length 4 and we can find the average of all those elements. Average is equal to sum by length. Length is always equal to 4. Sum of each subarray by length which is k. So here in this case in the first subarray you will find 1 plus 12 minus 5 minus 6 by 4. This will give you 2 by 4 which is 0.5. So this is 1. The second subarray you will find 12 minus 5 minus 6 plus 50 and by 4 this will give you so this will give you 12.75. The third subarray you will pick minus 5 minus 6 plus 50 plus 3 by 4 by 4. So this will give you 10.5. And among these the second subarray has the maximum so this will be returned as the output. So for this approach the time complexity will be of n square because we are looping through all the subarrays. So here you can see that we are repeating some parts of the sum we already know. So the difference between the first and second subarray is that you are removing one element and then you are adding one element. So you are adding this and removing this. And from the second to third subarray you can see the difference that you are removing 12 and then you are adding 3. So we can implement the same approach so that we can save some time. So let's see how we can do this. So first I am going to find the subarray of length k. So use a for loop to iterate from 0 until k. So 0 I will start from here and it will iterate till k. So first 4 elements of size so sum will be found. So which is 1 plus 12 minus 5 minus 6 which will give you 2. So the sum is 2. Now I create one other variable called max. So max sum is going to have initially the value of sum. So initially max sum is also 2. So sum is 2, max sum is also 2. So now in the next iteration I am going to iterate from i is equal to k. So I will be pointing at k and it will iterate till the end of the array. So I will add this element, add the element at i. So add 50 and subtract i minus k element i is equal to k and k is k, i minus k, i is 4 and k is also 4, so 4 minus 4 will give you 0, so subtract this element, minus 1, this will give you 51 and update max, max is 2 and 51 among 2, among these two 51 is max, and now in the next iteration i will move forward, i is at 5, so add the element at i, so 3 will be added, and subtract i minus k, i is 5 and k is 4, so 1, so subtract this element, i minus k, so subtract minus 12, so this will give you 44, and find the max of 51 and 44, which is still 51. So now we have the max sum and we reach the end of the for loop. Now we can find the average by finding out the sum. We found out the max sum, max sum is equal to 51, and length is equal to k which is 4 so this will give you 12.75 which is the expected output here and here you can see in the method 1 also you are getting the same output. Now let's take a look at the code to implement this approach. So here you can see I am creating a variable sum. This is the input array nums and the integer k. I will find the sum of array from 0th index till k now and assign max variable with sum. And now I will start from i is equal to k till the end of the array. So I will add the element at k. So do plus k and subtract i minus k element. So we are in removing the first element and adding this. Next element i is equal to k and then we will remove this element and add this. And finally you found the max element. So each time you compare max with the current max and with the current sum. And finally outside the for loop you will have the max sum and you will divide it by the k which is constant as input and you are returning double part typecasted with the data type double. This will return 
the average. For this example, you will get 12.75 as the output. The time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the input array nums, and the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.